All right, Thomas, what are we working on today? You know, I need to figure out the top of my bag. I know I hit my driver pretty far and pretty straight and I actually hit it better than I hit my fairwood and driver and iron off the tee a lot of the times. Okay. That can be a problem when I got to lay up. Right. I just don't hit my drive and iron, fairy wood that well. Mm -hmm. And I've lost a lot of confidence in it. Even the good shots, I don't know if it's bad luck or not, but even the good shots I've been losing my golf ball with, with it. So I just played an event in Pro-Am and I hit drive and iron my three and off the tee and I ended up walking out with the eight because I couldn't find my ball. I thought it was just down the right side of the fairway. So really? I'm just having a lot of a hard time. I hit a shot where I tried to lay up shorter of the water knowing I couldn't get there. The ball ended up in the water. So I'm- uh, So you gotta I've identify been, the gapping a little bit. Gotta figure out the gapping, yeah. So my goal today as I'm kind of working on getting my, my game figured out is I've added one extra club in the bag. So right now I have 15 clubs. Got that, uh, that Apex hybrid that I really want to kind of see how that compares to my three iron driving iron and my three wood numbers. Okay. So my goal here is to figure out those numbers. I'm going to hit start out hitting as I'm warming up a little bit my four iron. Just yep. so I can get some general ideas on numbers there. As I mentioned, I don't need to hit some bombs on my driver. I know that's going to go further than my three wood anyway. Yeah. But I need to figure out, get those clubs dialed into two clubs. Okay. So. I'm considering putting a hybrid in the bag, is actually what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah. And now you got to figure out today if, if that's the right move or not. Right. So I want to kind of assess, take a look at my ball striking, take a look at my direction and my dispersion, and just see which, hey, which club am I really hitting better? Okay. So let's, uh, let's start out today just going to hit some four, some four irons here so I can get some baseline numbers. That's that felt like start. a pretty good swing there. That's a good start. What type of numbers are you usually used to out of that 400? You know, this has got to be around about 220 is, is my is my number with this. Is that total or carry? It's usually around about total. Okay. Yeah, that those first two are both 222 and 223 total. So 222, 223. Yeah. I uh, I can if I want to jump on it a little bit. My stock number is probably around about yeah you know, 220, 225. Yeah. That was a good swing there. Yeah. I feel yeah. like all three of those are very nice and tight by each other. Right. Yeah. I mean, as I've been working with my coach, uh, we're talking about that, uh, that that butt cheek to Robbie. Butt cheek back to Robbie. Butt cheek, butt cheek, butt cheek. Good. Yeah. Feel for me has been uh, been really good. I've worked on my posture a little bit and, and I felt like I've definitely hit, I've hit the longer irons better yeah. and more consistent. Um, but I just got to figure out my gapping. So this is a good start to figure out what my, what distance this is going. We know it's what, around about 225. That last one might've gone just a little bit that further. That last one did go further. I think you, yeah, the spin dropped on it. So you, yep. you carried it 224 in total 237 actually. 237, okay. So it was a little bit further. So a little bit so. further. Um, yep. The average of those three in terms of the total is 227.8, carry is 216, so. Okay, and my, uh, my five iron carry is right at 200 it usually goes about 210. okay so it kind of fits in fits in there pretty pretty well yeah so but then it's uh then it's my favorite clubs in the bag right these yeah. are the ones that so i kind of struggle with a little bit utility iron your three oh your three or three utility iron and then you got that hybrid that you threw in so yep from there is that your plan now just kind of hit both and see yeah how they compare? i uh that's that's it both actually let's start with three wood next let's three go wood, three okay. wood just so i can kind of Get a general idea of what range I'm trying what to gap fit you between. Need. Yeah, what number you need. And then, okay. uh, and then we'll kind of compare those. Okay. Those two clubs and see how they work out. It wasn't too bad. And I'll admit too, this is a club that I've been mm. struggling with a little bit as well. Yeah, you. Uh, you want to know that total number? Yeah. Two ninety four point eight. It's pretty good. Yeah, it was kind of the knuckleball effect. It was. 20 spin, so. Yeah. Well, I got a, this is a three plus, so 13 and a half degree ferro wood. Oh, it is. Okay. That yeah. makes a little more sense then. So, and then the CG on this, we do a lot of, you know, testing on ferro woods and stuff. 
is uh, definitely pushed a little further forward. Yeah, that's, a, like that, that's sub zero. This is a sub zero. Yep. That one's got a little more spin on it, I think. Yeah, that one wasn't too bad. It was a little higher. What are we looking at there? So that, that carry was 255, total 268.6. That spin went up to 38.25. Okay. That one sounded pretty clean. Yeah, it was pretty clean. It finally didn't hit it fat. Yeah, you got a 1.5 smash on that one. I like that. 257.3 carry, 270.6 total, 4,000 spin there. Okay. So a little bit of an inconsistency there in the in the in spin, spin, right? Yeah. Yep. Let's hit one more. Yeah, I mean, if we take the averages of the four iron, yeah, and the three wood, and then we kind of look in, in between those two and kind of see where we're at with regards to to averages, we're gonna be looking at a number. I'm gonna try and get pretty well with. Mm -hmm. You see your average three wood total. You're looking at total here. Yep, let's go total distance. The so total is two seventy five point seven. The average with four iron was two twenty seven point eight. Okay. So, so between those two, quick math tells me about you know very close to two fifty. Two fifty is the number you're trying to get here with yep. uh, whatever club you put in the between. Right. So with that said, I think people. Some people that have watched the channel probably know this, but there's some that maybe don't. You have preferred and have been using a utility iron in this spot for, I don't know how long, but since we've been doing videos, that you haven't really had a hybrid in the bag, it's been a utility iron. I haven't had a hybrid in the bag for probably four, three or four years. Okay. Um, the reason for that is most of the time I'm using it pretty much off the tee, but I have noticed a lot of times where I've kind of had that gap of around about 250 where I've got it maybe just in the rough. Yeah. I can't hit the driving iron out of the rough very well. Yeah. And the, three, the fairway wood, I've got to try and take something off it with more. Mm -hmm. The rough's too thick, I can't get down with, with that as well. So right. it's an interesting gap for me. A lot of people, you know, they're like, oh, it's not, not the worst gap. You probably don't have that shot too many times. It's kind of surprising how many times I've had that shot this year. Is it in between off the tee, whether it's maybe there's a, a bunker out there like running along the fairway that's 270 out there, you need to be short of that? Yep. It's or it, maybe it is a par five that you got to get into that's a 590 yard par five. And, or whatever the case might be, and you really have the chance to go for it, and this is the yardage left to, to do that. Yeah, it's it's both. It's definitely both. Um, but I I just wanted to keep my options open here and see how the the driving iron compares to the hybrid. Okay. Well, which one are you hitting first? Let's go driving iron. Okay. When let's, are you used uh, to? Let's get the the bad swings out of the out of the way. <laughs> well, it's interesting because I feel like I've been hitting good swings with it. I just I don't know what's going on. Like I feel like I hit that pretty good. Yeah, it's just just a little left. Yeah, it just drew a little bit on you, but I feel like it's a solid strike. One four nine smash tells me it's a solid strike. Yeah, so you had yeah two fifty four point four total on that one. Okay. Two thirty eight point three on carry. It's hanging a little bit out to the right. Yeah, I feel like I hit it solid again though. So you're, you're doing this because you're kind of doubting in a way, not doubting, but you're just having second thoughts on the gapping. Yeah, I'm just kind of analyzing a different option to put in, my, put in my bag. Yeah. Yeah. So that one was 249 total. Okay, so. 235.9 carry. Good numbers. We can kind of go that one a little bit. That maybe was just a tad lower on the face. So it should have some more spin is what you're saying? Right. Yeah, 4132 spin. That dropped it down to 243 carry. Okay. It's a little thin. Another one. All right, I want to hit one more. I want to have five shots with each one. Okay. Yeah, that one was kind of killed by some extra spin there. Okay. Felt solid. So. That club now, talk to me on that one. Um, that's the one that, that shape I'm sure you like better, it inspires more confidence for you? Yep. Yeah, I just, I don't feel like I hit it bad. There was, I think it was the fourth shot I got a little bit thin, so that one I yeah. probably want a little, little bit shorter. Um, but the other four shots were, were hit pretty solid. It's not like I'm not hitting a solid. Yeah. I just haven't had, just had too many bad shots with it. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, I mean, your, your average on that was 244 total. Okay. Um, and that was, you know, if I, if I take out the one that actually went 
I'm gonna see what happens here. If I take that one out, that went 230.9, and that goes up to 247.3. So okay. you're getting pretty close to that 250 number um, on the gapping. So, and I'm looking at the dispersion map, and for the first couple of shots there, I was actually impressed with how consistent the distance was, being that you had that one that started left, the next couple were right. Yep. They were still really consistent carry distance. Then you had, I think, the miss hit after that, that went pretty, um, kind of a, quite a bit shorter. And the last one was back to that kind of important number for carry right around 230 so okay. um it's a pretty consistent minus the one that i yeah clearly kind of minus that it. one that you clearly yeah. was the your user error um well that's kind of part of this whole thing too is right. the user error piece but um that was you know that's the one element that I, I noted from looking at your numbers here was just that it was relatively consistent besides kind of the one yeah and i i just can't be doing that if it's like a par five i'm trying to get home in two and i hit one a little low on the face yeah it only carries you know, carries 10, 15 yards shorter in the water. Yeah. So I've got to make sure that I uh, have something nice and consistent and reliable. So, do we want to see if the hybrid is the replacement? Yeah. Yeah. So, as I mentioned, it's kind of like my, my 15th club. I haven't played with it on the course yet or anything like that. I just, it's kind of be my, my backup. And I, I've thought about it a few times this year. It's like, you know, do I consider putting that in the bag? Or do I keep kind of playing the hybrid? and? So I, do I keep playing the driving iron and I keep playing the driving iron and I keep making more big numbers? Yeah. Well, <laughs> here's I mean, here it is. I mean, this is a big deal for the viewers because, again, it's been four or five years since you've played a hybrid in your bag. So right. Yeah. Making and this sure you're all dialed so in. This is, the, this is the Apex Pro. So this is a little, it's not a full on yeah, it's, hybrid it's a, look it's to a it. Player's it's hybrid, a player's hybrid, but it's hybrid, still, uh, yeah. it's, you know, there's, there's some more forgiveness packed in there than, say, utility iron. Yep. Well, see how it goes. Well, it is the furthest one I've hit offline today. Yeah, that was that's my first takeaway. Right. Well, yeah, that's I think just that's adjusting your concern to a little it, or bit is is the inconsistency of that for your swing. Right. Versus a utility iron. Did you hit that one solid, or was it a miss hit too? It's slightly low on the face, but because that generated a ton of spin. Yeah. A little better there. One thing I've noticed, and that's just two swings, but they've both been fades. They have both been fades, yeah. I'll say right now, I don't like it. <laughs> I, uh, from looking at the dispersion map, I can, I mean, from my vantage point, I agree with you. For what it's worth, I mean, the hybrid's going as far basically as your four iron, your three shots. Okay. Now, those are all out to the right, but it's still yeah. worth noting. That was a better swing. That one's there. a lot better swing. Yep. It's definitely interesting though. I'm having a hard time getting that thing to kind of turn over, just like a little fade with it. Okay, so that was your farthest shot. Not surprising because I was the straightest, but it was 241.7. Total distance. Total distance. Okay. That one turned over. Yeah, I might have got that one just slightly on the toe side. So this might be your farthest one. That one spin probably stayed down based on catching a little on the toll. Right. Yeah, 255.7 on that. 31.32 spin. So the last two shots, what I noticed was the height was higher with the hybrid, though, for sure. Yeah. So if you look at the even just the last two shots, and then you can look at the height when I was hitting the driving iron, how, how high in, in feet were I, was I hitting it? So looking at the height here, Thomas, uh, the you hit the last two swings you were saying with the hybrid. I feel like they were better shots, yeah. They were 110 feet, 124 feet in the air. Okay. Um, worth noting that with the three iron, with the utility iron, you had nothing over 114 feet in the okay. air. That was your highest one. And your average was 101. Average with the hybrid was 119. Yeah, so definitely it's, it's giving me an option to think about. Uh, I liked how I hit those last two shots. I like I liked, I liked the height. Um, I bet if I was hitting out of the rough, I would have probably had a chance to get the ball up in the air a little bit easier and get mm -hmm. through, the through, the, through the turf as opposed to with the, with the driving iron. Yeah. Um, those numbers seem like they were pretty close though, weren't they? They were around about yeah. 250. Here, I'll, just, yeah, I'll give this to you. Here's the, there's the numbers. Okay, perfect. So you can look at those and, and we can see. Give you this guy. Because, I'll let, I mean, those are, the, those are your numbers that you were hitting there. So one thing I was noticing was I think, I mean, in my estimation after five shots was that the utility iron seemed to be more consistent for you. And I don't know what it is for you, if it's an appearance thing or what it is, but it just seemed like 
those, at least those first three swings are obviously not ones you're going to want to take out on the golf course if you have this hybrid in the bag. Right, yeah, that uh, that miss to the right was definitely no no good for sure. Um, there, was, there was one that was pretty far out to the right, and that was, probably, that was probably me reacting a little bit, but I do want to get rid of that one that was pretty, pretty bad. Um, so that was shot 13, and then uh, I had one shot there with the, with a the 3-iron that was, it was pretty far left. It was, yeah, there was the one that was left, there was the one that was short kind of too, that you like hit thin. Yep. Okay, so now I'm kind of looking at, at the averages, and I'm just curious to see what, what we're kind of finding out, and what the differences are. You know, I'm trying to look at the strengths and weaknesses between the clubs, because... Yeah. They're both good options depending on the golf course that, that I'm that I'm playing and what I'm trying to get out of, out of my right. game. Um, so I was at 227.8, the four iron, three was 257, 275.7. Um, what's really interesting is when I take out those two shots that were the miss hits, yeah. my average total distance with both of them was 241.1 and 241.4. Wow. So it's it's not far off. It's it's probably just a, a little bit on the on on the shorter side. Yeah. I mentioned I'd want to try and get to the to two fifty. Um, it the three iron was spinning about three hundred RPMs less. Yeah. Than the which than I think gives you more hybrid. potential distance anyway. Yep. So, uh, it was it was carrying just a little shorter on a little bit lower flight. Um, so if we look at the height, the height was. 100 feet in the air exactly with the, with the three iron, 119 feet in the air with the, with yeah. the hybrid. So that's that's kind of interesting. Take taking a look at those those numbers there. Um, it's kind of interesting interesting too. I'm looking at this version pattern. The three iron, it was a little further to the right consistently. Yeah. Yeah. So I was having a hard time kind of turning that and the hybrid out over yeah, at the yeah. same time too. Yeah. Because well, I think that it was it was funny because the, the hybrid you started out way right with that one. And each one kind of seemingly got more back left. You kind of were able to turn it over as you kept hitting the, the club. Right. So, yeah. So I mean, having that thirteen and a half degree fair, thirteen and a half degree fairway wood, it has made it a little bit harder for the for the gapping here as well, because mm -hmm. the fairway wood is so much further than yeah. than, than everything so else. So is that something you would consider? Is is going back to a fifteen degree three wood to it, maybe even that out a little bit it, it is some, definitely something that i consider and maybe a little easier to hit as well yeah i mean i've liked i mean I dr i've driven the ball pretty well and that's why i've had the uh the 13 and a half because i'm well i didn't drive far i need a three wood to go a little bit shorter than sure. that um but even if i bunch up the dispersion pattern the white the blue the red circles they're all very very close together um they're almost doing the same thing yeah and then the free fairy woods just so much further than everything else. Right. Yeah. So that's, that, the four iron you're hitting that as far, almost as far as those two that you were, um, you know, the, the hybrid and the utility iron. The distances aren't very different. Right. Yeah. Well, it's it, it's close. So I could consider a two hybrid. Mm -hmm. That would be that would be option because this is a three twenty. Yep. So like the the two eighteen would be something that I'd want to kind of throw in the mix, or I, I mean my concern with the the two driving iron. Is I've already had a hard enough time hitting it off the turf as, as it is. And once okay. I get less loft on that thing, I feel like I'm going to have a harder time. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I think if I want to play around with the hybrid options, I think I've got to maybe consider a two hybrid. A two hybrid. Okay. Because um, this is right now, this is the Apex Pro 3 hybrid at 20 degrees, and you didn't adjust anything on it, did you? I mean, it was right, that's it's a, a fixed, bonded. It's yeah, a bonded. Bond so you really can't. Yeah. So uh the next option down would be that 18 degree and maybe throw that in and just see what happens that might get you closer in gapping provided you can kind of hit this consistently the way you want to right because i'm looking at my four iron and the three iron light landing angles they're both 47 47 so it stays pretty consistent and the three iron is like 42.9 so it's definitely a lower lower mm -hmm. ball flight yeah and that's why the the height was 19 feet lower overall um, interesting three iron had the most curve to the right as well which is it had an average of 83 feet of curve left to right, which is a lot of Yeah, curve. it is. That's a lot, yeah. especially for you. Right. I like to play a little drawer, and that's definitely, yeah, that's yeah, that's something for me to think about there, too. So, yeah. so I mean, in doing this session today, Thomas, you did learn some things about your game, about the gapping, about the clubs you're playing, and about another option that maybe you're not going to consider that you probably wouldn't have even thought of before this. Right. Yeah, I think uh, I definitely throw in the mix, like a, a two, two hybrid to consider. Mm-hmm. 
I've played around with a, a two drive and iron. I don't want to do it. I just, yeah. it's just too much for, for me. It's just too little, little amount of loft on yeah. it. Um, but I think if I, I consider a, a two hybrid, I'm still going to be able to get that thing through the turf. I'm still going to spin, fly a little higher, and it's going to give me my, my gapping that I kind of, that I want. Yeah, for sure. So uh, that's something for me to look at as I'm looking at these shots. I was very happy with, not going to lie, I had been struggling with my fairy wood. I've been struggling with all the clubs. I was happy with how well I hit the, the fairy wood. Uh, it's just interesting how everything else is kind of, kind of bunched up. Sure, yeah. sure. Well, we learned some more. We got, we we're pro progressing closer to right. where you want to be before the big event in April. I've got plenty of time. So plenty of time. Yeah. Yes. And uh, uh, as viewers are watching this, what else can we maybe expect here in the coming videos here for the road to the PGA series? Yeah. So, I mean, this is, this is getting towards the, the end of my, my, my golf season in Minnesota. Yeah. Um, it's, it's almost October and we know snow is just kind of oh, around, yeah, the right corner, around the corner, unfortunately. Um, so more inside practice, fitness training, mental training i think you probably get the idea that i'm having a little bit of time mentally with my with my driving iron yeah um it's even if i'm hitting good shots it's still i'm still that's having frustrating yeah so that's, that's been frustrating so i've got to get over that i got i got to figure out uh, a lot on getting myself i want to probably read a couple books and maybe i'll, I'll talk about those books and why i chose sure. chose those books to to help me mentally i got a couple in mind i got zen golf for example yeah that, that, I've, that i've got in mind um, I've played around, I've, I mean, I've, I've read like the, the Bob Rotella books sure. as well there too. They're, they're good quick reads. Uh, so I need to take and write down a couple of things and to talk about it's a mental part of my game. Um, the physical part too. So we've got that coming up. We've got, uh, I want to keep work, working out and getting a little stronger and get my mm -hmm. mobility figured out there too. But sure. it's not just yeah. about this part of the game. It's an interesting one because you don't normally can maybe think about so much about gapping. You think about gapping with your wedges. Yeah, but you can't overlook these. I mean, if you're 255 enough. yards out, what are you gonna do? You know, so that's something that you have yet to. You gotta it's nail that question. down before you get right. down to April, or actually down to Texas next April, uh, when it's time for that. But I don't have that shot right now. So. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. That's, I only that's have 275, point. or I have 240. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, viewers, thank you for joining us and watching as Thomas uh, progresses towards his goal of entering and competing into the PGA Championship. Uh, obviously, the next step is to compete in the National Club Pro Championship in Texas in April. So he's got a few months, and that's where we're going to go on this journey here is uh, everything Thomas is going to do to prepare for that event. So this is just one of those kind of stepping stones here is figuring out the gapping between his three wood and his four iron. So um, maybe more to come on this as we maybe get a two iron, excuse me, as we get into that two hybrid into the fold here a little bit. But um, Thomas, this is some good stuff and another look into kind of what it takes to, to really make it here. Um, trying to play in a major championship. Right, uh, definitely can't be overlooked. I'm excited to bring you guys along the journey.